Right, this is my uh, prototype for the weather station. Uh, I'll uh, just show you this more really to give you an idea of some of the things that uh, I do when I'm prototyping. The uh, main circuit board is um, on a breadboard uh, and what we've got, uh, we've got a little 28 pin pickaxe in the middle just below the pickaxe we've got a little memory chip and then to run the whole system over to the side we've got a, a little RTC um, 1305 which is uh, running the real time clock uh, the white LED flashing the seconds off then going in a little bit further you can see the um, right in the middle of the shot is the little Dallas temperature gauge that's uh, giving us the digital temperature back. A bit further over, just behind that wire, right in the centre of the shot now, we've got the LDR giving us the light level. And then this section over here uh, is giving us the air pressure using a little. Motorola MPX 4100A and then we've got ourselves a little voltage rectifier at this end to give us um, 5 volts and then over here we've got one giving us 3.5 volts waiting for the radio station to go and sit in that empty space there. We've also got a little separate pickaxe down the end which is doing nothing more than running the rain counter. Uh, what that's going to do is keep track of the uh, flip-flop system or our um, seesaw system. Uh, we'll give that a little test. Just have to do three things at once. Fill that up. And you'll see that uh, as the pretend rain comes down what that's doing is flip flopping the seesaw over backwards and forwards now then on the top you can see a little magnet and what that's doing is there's a, just on the edge there you just see peeping around the corner little hall effect now I'm using a trimetric hall effect uh, the nice thing about that is that uh, they give a voltage out when there's no um, sensor whatsoever so uh, when there's nothing there it's giving two and a half volts if you put one pole of the um, magnet there you get zero volts turn that over and it'll give you five volts which from a pickaxe point of view is very easy to measure on an ADC now then we've now got over this side I've got the uh, test rig for the anemometer what that's doing is that's going around further slowly. I've got a little computer fan at the back there running that. And uh, what that's doing is just gently turning that. And under the bottom disc, there's another whole effect transistor with uh, eight magnets uh, going north, south, north, south, all the way around. So that it's going plus five, minus, uh, plus five, zero volts, plus five, zero volts four times per rotation so we actually get four counts and I'm actually using the count facility to measure that and if we turn the voltage up on the uh, system let the fan run a bit faster we could get more speed out of the anemometer and then all of this is being sent via RS232 to the computer software. Now then ultimately the intention is to replace the RS232 with the radio sound which will be going down that far end but at this stage we're still waiting for that to arrive so that we can work on it.
Right, we, uh, we've got the uh, little board there. This is uh, the next stage. This is the first board, uh, pr version one of the uh, etched board. We can see the uh, I think a little bit of resin still on there from the soldering. This has only just been completed, and uh, we can see each of the components now off the breadboard, actually onto this board. Um, if we go in there, I'll actually have a look at the. component there and that's the uh, humidity detector, sorry that's the um, air pressure detector right next to it in the middle of the screen there we've got the light dependent resistor which ultimately will be remote mounted I'm just proving this board uh, so the whole thing is sat there at the moment the humidity detector is sat soldered into the board there temperature detector which is that little what looks like a transistor in the middle next to the blue um, resonator and we've got our memory chip in the middle of the screen and then the clock ticking away the seconds with its battery backup so we've got all the features on there everything else that's uh, on the system is held remotely we've got the uh, anemometer now uh, on the um, system Still in its test bed, we're uh, going to produce the casing for that and that's now connected into the board using a uh, direct connector the uh, focus design has decided to switch itself off, we'll stop and start uh, and uh, so that really is the size of the guy, give you an idea, I'll put my uh, hand in shot it's not a very big board, but about uh, 200 millimeters by 150 millimeters, which should fit quite nicely in the case that I've designed.